Hello, folks, Robert here again, and we're going to continue on with part two of this cable tray exercise that we're working on. So we placed some cable tray here, and we got some hangers going on here. So now I placed one of these wall brackets in. This is a, a WBS wall bracket. Um, it's cope bracket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think I need some more hangers in here. And actually now I've got my schedule here. I created a schedule. So you'll see that schedule or those BOMs or whatever they want to call them. Uh, so everything in this model appears here automatically. So I'm going to go in here and I need some more um, hangers. So I'm going to just cheat here and I'm going to copy this one. And bring it, take off constraint. And bring it right here. I'm gonna rotate it around. And I think we probably should have these right about close to the edges. But I don't know, like I said, the engineer, he they'll do that. They'll decide where what goes and everything. And I want to straighten this out here. That should be a line at yep. Okay, so then I want to just copy this down. Let's go with 10 feet again. And then now here, I've got my bracket here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw my cable tray from here. And then I'm going to go here. And now, as you can see, that stack bar bracket is a little too high, so I need to drop that down. So I'll go here, so I will bring that down to probably eight feet. Uh, let's go eight six just to see where it lands. It looks pretty good there. And there's my, okay. So that would be equipment. And there's the two, one, two new ones I put in there. And let me see what's going on here. WBS wall bracket. Okay. Where's he at? <laughs> there it is. So now let's go and bring this guy all the way across. Actually, we got an opening here, and I don't know where exactly is. Are we above that opening? Yeah, we are. So let's go this way with this guy. And we can just draw the cable tray. This is the nine again, the nine inch. We'll bring it to here, and then we'll need these brackets and we can do these 10 as well I might even go take this whole thing down and just make this T in here go that way and we'll come here and make a T And we'll go up to this point. So as you can see, my schedules are getting bigger. They're growing as I go along here. And then now my cable tray, as you can see now, what happens with these? They're giving me the lengths. Now we sell them in 12s, but for this case, we can take the length. And just, uh, and I can put them in 12, but 12, but that would not make sense. That wouldn't be practical. You can do that way, but like I said, it's not practical. So now we got all my cable tray in here. Now let's go over here. Let's come back up to here. Now these rooms are going to be filled with other equipment, switch gear, and transformers, and boxes. So now just 
the play around with it. Let's go and drop a let's take this guy right here. Let's draw some conduit. Probably shouldn't do this. I'm gonna go with a two inch uh and I'm going to go with, that's good right there. And so I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to come up. And then I want to come and drop off into this cable tray. And there it is right over there. Oh. Yeah, so that's what how it happens. It will just connect to the tray. So just giving you a good idea how this works. So I've got brackets in here now. I've got hangers in here. Now I've got this uh, cover now. So right here, say we want to cover this tray up because now this is now I don't know we wouldn't have to cover up a a, a ladder because. Nothing falls in it, but for uh, the other type trays, we would need the cover because things don't want to fall in there. And so I'll go here and I add this cover along here. Oh, I just copied it. I'm going to copy this. Just go copy from there to there. I did. Oh, I got two in one place. Okay, so I will just undo that. So I'll take this cover here and copy it. As you can see, there's my cover in this view. So maybe we can get down to the real nitty gritty here if we want to. So we'll cover these guys here and then as well. Oh, see, I need to fix these schedules because here you go. I'm adding stuff. So this cover is actually called the ACCPFS Peaked Flange Cover. That's the Peaked Flange Cover right there. And then the good thing about this guy, I can make him, I can cover him on this one as well. So I can copy this guy over here. Let me go to my plan view. Let me copy this guy here. Boy, I think this doesn't like to work no more. So now this one is the 18 inch. So I will just take this guy, edit type. And I will make him one foot six. Let me just duplicate him because I don't want to. Okay. And I'll go one foot six here. That's 18. Yep, one foot six is 18. And then I'll take that cover and put it right there. So we're going to model this whole building. The next I'll do some con more conduit and uh, floor boxes and everything. So hey guys, I just wanted to show you this quick little demonstration since we got our, our building materials, our schedules in working. And there's all of our trapeze supports. There's all of those wall brackets. The WBS24. Now we can go over here and let's add a few more. These don't have to be 24s actually. So, what I'm going to do, I might shorten these up and make this say an 18. So, we go edit here, edit type, and I'll change them to an 18. Yeah, that's better. Actually, they all could have been 18s. And then there it is in our schedule. So, hey guys, thank you for watching this video, and uh, this is part two.
And we'll bring on part three after this. So we're modeling this electrical physical layout of this small building. And uh, it's a warehouse type deal. And uh, let's go look at the elevations now, the section views, see how it's going. Look in here. Okay, that looks a little funny. What height is that? That's nine feet. Yep, that's good. Go back into my floor plan. Okay, that's why. Let's drain this over. And we'll have a look. So looking good. So there's our cable tray and our cover. I'll make this realistic. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And everybody be safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.